In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the instant replay effect in iMovie. Now just like all the other effects, this one is super easy to use as well. So let me go ahead and show you how to use it. So I've got this football clip here in my project timeline. And I want to view part of this clip as an instant replay, just like you would see if you were watching any sporting event on TV. So all I need to do is click and select just that part of the clip that I want to view back as an instant replay. Once I do that, I can come up here to Clip, Instant Replay, and I have the option of 50, 25, or 10%. And this is how slow the Instant Replay will play back. Don't worry though, if you want to change that, you can change it afterwards if you don't like the original percentage that you try. Let's just go ahead and do 50%. You'll see down here now in my project timeline that it has split my clip. This middle section here is the Instant Replay part of the clip. This beginning part is just the beginning part of the clip up to the point where I want to now view it back in the instant replay and then the end is the rest of the clip playing back live. So if we play this back, you'll see what I mean. And just like that, you can see the instant replay effect in action. Now you probably notice this instant replay text that's automatically been added on your video clip. If you want to remove this, all you need to do is click on it and hit delete. But let's say you want to keep it, but you don't want it to say instant replay. You want it to say something else. All you need to do is click on it and up here in your viewer window, you can click where the text is and change it to something else. And now when we play it back, it'll now show up with that new text that we've added to our video clip. Now like I said before, if you want to change now the speed of that instant replay effect, you can do that. By double clicking on the clip to open up the inspector tab, you can change this speed setting here to change it from 50% to another percentage that you want it. So let's say now you want it to be 30% you can actually just click in here and type in 30 and hit enter and it's now changed it to 30 percent and if you hit done you'll see now down here in your project timeline that it's actually extended your instant replay part of this clip because it's now playing back at 30 percent and so if we play it back you'll now get to see it at 30 percent And if you want that text to stay on there the entire time, all you need to do is click and grab the end of it and drag it till it reaches the end of the clip. Now if you don't want to type in manually the percentage, you can also just move this slider to the left to slow it down or to the right to speed it up. And what you can also do is add any video effect, audio effect, you can reverse the clip, and basically you can do anything with this part of the instant replay clip that you could do with any other video clip. And that's how you use the instant replay effect in iMovie 11.